Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is all about using Android applications on Windows, without the need for any emulators. We'll show you the most effective and efficient way to achieve this, so you can start enjoying your favorite Android apps on your PC in no time. Let's take a closer look at how we can use an Android app on our PC. In order to do so, we've downloaded the Pexels app, and we're excited to see how it works on our computer. Join us as we explore the possibilities of running Android apps on Windows. As you can see, we have successfully downloaded the app onto our PC. However, we've run into a bit of a roadblock. We can't seem to open or install the app. Let's delve deeper into this issue and figure out how we can get this app up and running on our computer. First of all, let's first click on this PC and select properties, then check the OS build. It's important that the OS build matches the version I have. If you have an older version, try installing any available updates to ensure that you have the latest version. This will help ensure compatibility with the app we're trying to install. Now, let's proceed to the next step in our tutorial. Open the Microsoft Store and search for the Amazon App Store. This will enable us to access a vast array of Android apps that can be downloaded and used on our PC. But we are going to use it only to install the Windows subsystem for Android. If the Amazon App Store doesn't appear in the Microsoft Store, don't worry. There's a quick and easy fix. Simply go back to the Settings menu, then navigate to Time and Language, from there, select language and region and change your country or region to the United States. Once you've made the switch, return to the Microsoft Store and search for the Amazon App Store once again. You should now be able to download and install it without any issues. So let's get started. Once you've located the Amazon App Store in the Microsoft Store and clicked Install, the next step is to click Configure. This will prompt a window to appear, asking if you would like to download the Windows subsystem for Android. Click Download and patiently wait for the download to complete. This is a crucial step in the process, as it enables the Android apps to run smoothly on your Windows PC. After the download is complete, click Next. You may be prompted to restart your computer, but you can choose to restart it later if you'd like. Just remember to restart before trying to use any Android apps on your PC. Next, we need to download an Android subsystem installer. You can find the download link in the description. Simply follow the steps provided to download the installer and then install it onto your PC. It's as simple as that.
Once you've finished installing, you'll need to reboot your PC to complete the installation process. Don't forget this step, as it's crucial for ensuring that the subsystem is properly installed and ready to use. Simply restart your computer and you'll be all set to start using Android apps on your Windows PC. We're almost finished. As you can see, we can now open Android apps on our computer. However, we still can't install them just yet. To fix this issue, we need to search for Windows Subsystem on our PC. Depending on the language you're using, the name may be slightly different. For example, in my case, I'm using the French version, so I'll need to search for Windows SUS System A. Once you've found the Windows Subsystem settings, select Developer Mode and activate it, then click Allow to enable the feature. Go back and try to install the app now. Make sure to check the Always Allow from this computer box and click Allow. If you don't check this box, you'll need to reactivate the developer mode every time you install a new app. Checking this box saves you time and hassle in the long run. And that's it. You can now use Android apps on your computer without needing any emulator. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial and successfully installed the app. You can now use it on your Windows PC just like you would on an Android device. Enjoy! Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that I was able to explain everything clearly. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful videos like this one. I appreciate your support, and I look forward to bringing you more helpful content in the future. Thanks again, and until the next video.